Hey guys, um, how's it going? I wanted to show you guys, and you're seeing a white screen now, but we're on my computer here. And I want to show you guys um, a little bit of things. Now, before I get started, I'll go ahead and tell you that um, I've been having a few problems with eight, or with uh, Verizon here recently. Um, just, you know, getting billed way more than I'm supposed to, and they refuse to remove the charges. And in the most case, it's normally only $10 more, but $10 here, $10 there, that can really start to add up. And um, I even went as far as asking them if the, uh, rec the, the deposit that I put down on my phone could actually be refunded and put toward, um, <laughs> put toward uh, the disconnection charge. Um, because I'm seriously thinking about uh, disconnecting. I also went to att.com over here and did some comparing and turns out they're actually cheaper than the blackberry packages um as far as monthly but one thing i wanted to show you guys is kind of funny here's their coverage map for where i live uh and and this is this is pulled in real close to where i live and as you can see blue is um 3g and orange is not now this is not blue this is light blue <laughs> that don't count that can you tell? There's no... That's interstate signs. <laughs> um, let's back out just a little bit. About three blocks. Uh, and th their map loads about 3G speed too. <laughs> um, this is their 3G coverage within North Carolina. And you can see over here is the water. Uh, or, you know, down here. But um, a little bit there. Over here. Up there. Down here. That's nowhere near right there, which is where I live. Uh, or the vicinity in which I travel right through here um, even down here on Myrtle Beach there's very little coverage at all which is where I'll be going next week um, so I mean of course they have regular EVDO or not EVDO um, Edge but they don't have 3G show 3G coverage in select areas now let's look at Verizon's coverage now this is where I live keep in mind blue is 3g green is uh, enhanced services as they call it and pretty much all of where I live is uh, there's the that even shows the Verizon store <laughs> um, pretty much all of that let's back out about three three oh, up here like I did with the other one uh, whoa okay so there's only like a small area up here that's not 3G. And up here is considered enhanced. This is just uh, extended enhanced, it says. Let's back out just a tad bit more. I'll go one more. And you'll notice the map is loading a lot faster. I'm looking down here. Uh, I'll show you just as soon as it backs out enough. Oh, look. Look at Myrtle Beach. Total 3G. Uh, pretty much... All of the United States is 3G compared to AT&T's coverage, which uh, we'll pull that out right now. Um, oh, we have to go in one to get 3G coverage to load. I forgot about that. While that's loading, let's go ahead and get Verizon to do it. Uh, all the way out, here's Verizon's 3G coverage. Blue is 3G, green is extended or enhanced, and white is completely no coverage. Um, there's a little bit of yellow, that's enhanced broadband. Um, but it's probably not as good as broadband. We'll just say that. We'll just say that. I don't know. California's kind of not got a lot of coverage. I mean, you know, they have coverage. Just not as solid as some of these places over here or possibly in North Carolina where I live. Um, now, here is AT&T's broadband coverage. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, I'm just comparing the two biggest companies. I'm sure if, if I went uh, with another company, let's see, Sprint. Sprint has, Sprint's advertising their new 3G. Let's do that. I have enough time, right? Yeah, we're only five minutes into the video. Um, should have to go to mobile broadband plans. We'll just make out like we're going to get mobile broadband. That way we can... Um, grab a coverage ah here we go coverage boom very top um so we want to see 3g so where do we get that at 
Sprint Mobile Broadband, uh, Mobile Broadband Roaming. Um, there's 4G. I don't know what that is exactly. I know when I had Sprint um, almost a year ago, actually, there was no 3G coverage at all. Okay, so we're showing this right here is uh, mobile broadband coverage right now. Now, I don't know if that means that you will actually get mobile broadband speeds. I don't know. <laughs> I can't promise you anything. Um, we'll, just, we'll just assume that it is. And the gray is broadband roaming, and the light gray is data roaming. So, um... We'll, we'll assume that this orange right here is mobile broadband coverage. Now let's back it out just a little bit. We'll just cover this vicinity, uh, the, the area that I normally travel. Okay, so there is broadband coverage along interstate, basically. Uh, everywhere else, eh, not such. Thank you, Austin, for ruining my video. <laughs> uh, we'll back all the way out. Okay, maybe not that far. I wanted to see Myrtle Beach. Let's just do this. This is going to be a lot easier. Myrtle Beach. Okay, thank you, Austin, for running my video again. South Carolina. So that is in South Carolina, not North Carolina. Okay, so there's no broadband coverage there, as you can see. And just to, just to kind of prove a point, we'll do this while we still got a second. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I already knew it. Search. Boom. 3G, two Verizon stores, right within the vicinity. <laughs> this is why I use Verizon, and this is why I will probably stay with Verizon, even though they're charging me out the butt, retarded charges that aren't even needed. Anyway, that's my um, that's my video today, and um, yeah. See you guys later.